Now, given the three sides, given the three sides of a triangle, we should be able to know whether this is acute, obtuse, or right. I remember, I remember we saw this given the angle. Given the angles. When I gave you guys the angle, I said the biggest angle. That's the one that that's gonna be the bottom here. If the biggest angle is 90, we call it a right triangle. If the biggest angle is more than 90, we call it obtuse. And if it's less than 90, we call it acute. That was given the angle. But now we don't have angles. We have sides. I remembered a formula we've been dealing with a lot, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. When that happens, we know we have a right triangle. We've been dealing with that a few, few times already. So using that idea, I'm going to say that when we have a squared plus b squared less than, oh, so it's not an equal, less than c squared. So when their c squared was still big enough, not even combining a or b combined is not bigger than c squared. So our, our c squared was big enough. We're going to call this obtuse. At the same time, I'm going to go if a squared plus b squared is bigger than c squared, this is when we're going to call this acute. Remember for my three values, a squared, b squared, c squared, c squared is the biggest. So I have to square everything. And I'm just going to go c squared is the biggest of the three. And based on my formulas here, I will know whether I have an obtuse, right, or acute triangle. All right, let's take a look. Let me square each of my values. 9 squared is 81. So that's not bad. 15 squared, right? 15 times 15, that's 225. That's not that bad. And then square root of 115 times square root of 115. That is 115. Because when we square the radical, you just get the number in the inside. Now, which one of the three numbers is biggest? 81, 115, or 225? Well, 225, right? So this is my C value. Because remember, I said from the three values, the biggest value is my C value. So in this case, if I square it, C squared is the biggest of the three. Now, let me add the two small numbers. 81 plus 115. Let me leave a space because I don't know if I get an equal sign, a less than, or a greater than sign. So let me leave a space in 225. Okay, so again, let me add the two small values, 81 plus 115, that's 196. And this is 225. Okay, so I don't get an equal sign, right? If I got an equal sign, I will say it is a right triangle, but I don't. I get this sign. Remember the less than sign? It looks like a mouth. Some I remember my kid, little, they, they even write teeth like that. Okay, so it looks like a mouth. We call it less than. Because the big, the big opening is on the big number. The, the point is on the small number. And uh, it takes the value of the first number. If the first number was smaller, we call that less than. So 196 is less than 225. If the big number was bigger, I'll call it greater than. 196 is greater than 225. Okay. So now here, based on our formula, remember a squared plus b squared less than c squared? Didn't I say that was obtuse? Right? You see the formula on the top right? Good. So obtuse. Now you should have your formulas on your paper. I wrote them on my on my notes, so I'm just going to assume you have them on your paper. So now I'm just going to say according to the formula, and I mean the formulas that we just wrote. Okay, let me square each of my values. 16 squared is 256, right? 16 times 16 is 256. 10 squared is 100, right? 10 times 10 is 100. Now, 8 radical 3 squared. Let me think of this. I have, this one I have to work a little. 8 radical 3 times 8 radical 3. I know 8 times 8 is 64. 
but radical three times radical three is just three. Because when you square the radical, you just get the number in the inside. However, 64 times three is 192. So the values that I have are 256, 192, and 100. Which one is the biggest? Well, 256, right? Okay, good. So I know this is my C value. So let me add the two small values, 100 plus 192. Let me leave a space and then 256. Again, let me leave, let me add the two small values. 100 plus 192 is 292. And I'm comparing that with 256. Oh, so now 292 is greater than. So see how we call this greater than, right? 292 is greater than 256. According to our formula, right, when a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, according to our formula, this is acute. Nice. Let's take a look at number 27. Let me square everything. The square root of 200 was just 200. Square root of radical is easy. Let me put a box. 5 squared, right? 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so I have those three numbers, those two numbers. Now, radical, I mean, 2 radical 43 squared. Ooh, okay, this one I had to work a little. 2 radical 43 times 2 radical 43. I know when I multiply my whole numbers, 2 times 2 is 4. But when I multiply my radicals, radical 43 times radical 43 is just 43. Now, when I multiply this out, 4 times 43 is 172. Okay, so my three numbers are 200, 25, and 172. I'm going to say 200 is the biggest one, so that's my C. Let me add the first, the, the small two numbers, 172 plus 25. Let me leave a space, 200. Now, 172 plus 25, I know, is 197. Not equal to 200, right? 200 is bigger, so let me open this as if it's gonna, it wants to eat the 200. So a squared plus b squared less than c squared. In this case, my triangle will be obtuse. Good, let's take a look at number 28. Let me start with the easy numbers. 15 times 15, this is 225. 13 times 13, this is 169. So I wanted to start with the easy numbers first. Now, 2 radical 14, okay. 2 radical 14 times 2 radical 14. I know the whole numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. Radical 14 times radical 14 is 14. However, 4 times 14 is 56. Okay. I'm gonna say 225. This side is my C side because 225 is the biggest. So let me add the two small numbers. 56 plus 169. Let me leave a space, 225. Okay, I'm going to use a calculator if necessary. 56 plus 169 is 225. Oh, I had 225 on both sides. So I get an equal sign. So this is a right triangle. 